I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my creative healing course is filled with hours of exclusive content. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're gonna to be talking about what if I stop wanting my ex back? Believe it or not, this is actually a scary topic. I can understand that. Yeah, and what I- What has happened to me? It's almost like we're so traumatized by losing them and so stuck in that mode of wanting them back that the idea of not wanting them anymore is like terrifying. Absolutely. Right. So it's really interesting. Um, but I had a good Instagram message today. Today I messaged people, on, I put out a post on Instagram that said, if you have a success story that you wanna share, send it to me and I'll use them tonight because I knew we were gonna be recording. Right, great. So I got a few good ones and this is one that I wanted to share, right? By the way, I love to hear your email success stories. I haven't, I don't say this enough, Margaret. Okay. For those of you guys that are listening daily and fo so focused on changing your life and getting your ex back, I want to hear your success stories. So when your ex comes back and you get them back, don't forget about little old Margaret and me. <laughs> yeah, little <laughs> Send old me us. a success story. I have multiple people on my Instagram yeah. that have had success stories and have gotten married and they're so happy and, and then they don't send me the success story and I'm like, oh, you owe me a no success fair. story. You, send us that you success owe me story. one. I have a good one that somebody owes me right now that I got her back with her husband recently. And, uh -huh. and you want it. I want that success story. <laughs> I want it. I'm going to chase her down. So I got this quick little uh, message that I got on Instagram that I wanted to share. Then we're going to talk about it. Hi, Craig. I actually have two success stories with you. The first one is that you helped me get my ex back after a breakup two years ago. We did one Skype together and you pointed out how she may not be a, a good partner. And I have to be honest, I was a pretty bad partner at the time and had a lot of growing up to do. I was stubborn and insisted on getting her back anyway. I understand. I did your first series of workbooks and committed to personal growth. Well, that relationship lasted another year before we split for good. The kicker here is that we broke up because I had grown so much as a person and started respecting my own boundaries and needs and stopped tolerating the eggshells and gaslighting. Good. We ultimately split up after I voiced that I needed a more equal partnership and someone that was interested in meeting my needs. She ultimately wow. did not change at all after our first breakup, us getting back together, or our second breakup. Luckily for me, I never stopped working on myself or watching your videos since the first breakup two years that's ago. That's not luckily, that's because you worked for it. That's right. Now, after a year of being single, not settling for less, and respecting my needs and our inner relationship, I am now in a relationship with a woman who blows me away and actually respects my needs and boundaries. You really are changing lives for the better, thank you. Wow, how very nice. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, and we you. want to hear your success stories in the future when you have them. Don't just abandon Margaret and Craig. <laughs> right? Right. Um, but what is so great in this is the idea of him growing, mm -hmm. staying committed to the growth, and then saying that this person, even though I really wanted them before now that i've had enough of it 
it's not what I'm looking for in now my life. Now that I've grown and my eyes have opened differently and I can see different things, it's not going to work for me anymore. What a shock. Yeah. But it's a good thing. And it's so scary. Many of you guys are thinking right now, I don't want to outgrow my ex. What if I stop wanting to be with them again? It's, it's really surreal and odd when you think about being in that position. It like, is. You know, it'd be like, it almost sounds like if a drug addict said, what if I don't want crack anymore? That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, exactly right. What if right. I don't want drugs anymore and I want to be clean and sober? You, when it's you hear it like that. It's a scary thought. It's a scary thought. It really and, is. And what we forget is that for human beings, all change is scary. Okay, we like the familiar. It makes us feel happy and warm and fuzzy and secure. But growth involves change. So even good growth is scary. All right? Mm -hmm. um, Why is good growth scary, Margaret? Well, um, because there, once, you, once you grow to a certain extent, um, then you have a different set of responsibilities and view of the world. More may be asked of you. You may realize that you can do more and better things in your career, mm -hmm. in your relationships, in everything else. And it takes the familiar from us, which is always disconcerting. Yeah. It also works in family systems. Um, if one person in the family grows to a certain extent, the rest of the family will try to pull them back to where they were. Mm -hmm. Because the fear is if they grow beyond us, they'll leave us. Mm -hmm. They won't love us anymore. Mm -hmm. So even good growth is scary. And I'm going to resort to a crab metaphor that was shared with me by somebody I explained that to. Mm -hmm. When I was saying that, you know, what's expectable in family therapy is that if one person grows and changes, the rest of the system gets nervous that they're going to leave them and abandon them and not love them anymore. Mm -hmm. So they try to pull the person back. Mm -hmm. And one of my clients reminded me, like, if you go fishing and you catch a bunch of crabs and you put them in a bucket, Mm -hmm. If one of the crabs gets to the top of the bucket and is ready to escape, the other ones pull him back. Do they? Yes, they do. <laughs> is it, and it's not because they're trying to pull, pull them, uh, try and climb up them nope. to get out? Nope. They're like, oh, you're not leaving. That's exactly right. We're all in this bucket together. <laughs> wow. I'm not getting out of the bucket and I'm staying here. That's not happening. Interesting. Okay. And really, when you, you're working with one family member and they're having difficulty with their extended family, you really have to remind them that it's normal for people to not like the changes you've made. But if you hold your ground, mm -hmm. it'll work. Okay? Yep. Um, so there's my first crab metaphor. We might do another one. Okay. Uh, but we know that the idea of moving on from your ex and letting go is awful. And we know how scary it is. And you only have to do it at the speed that you're comfortable. You know, letting go or deciding that you don't want your ex anymore, you can do that on your terms and whatever works for you. You just don't want to stay wanting somebody forever if they don't want to be with you. You also, at some point, will have to move forward and enjoy life again. Yeah. You know, you enjoyed life before this person came in your life. You can enjoy life again after if they don't come back. Or even if you co they come back like, good, this guy, look at how happy he is. Yeah. You know, yeah. he, he insisted. He said, I was stubborn and I was going to do it and wanted to be with her anyway, even though I knew... She wasn't going to be right for me. Well, guess what? On his terms, he said, I've had enough. I'm moving forward. He stayed single for a while, stayed doing the, the hard work. And now look at how happy he is. Right. You know, and that's the great, right. that's a great but success story. But growth is scary. Even if it's a good change, any change is scary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to do the other crab metaphor? Sure. Do the other one. What happens with these crabs, Margaret? Well, these crabs are just very handy for all this. And I've been crab fishing myself, and I saw this phenomenon happen. Uh -huh. But my client applied it better mm -hmm. than I did. Anyway, crabs, snakes, whatever animal works for you, have to grow a new skin every now and again. Okay? Mm -hmm. But the transition for a snake, and probably a crab, is that what happens is the new, 
the new stuff grows under the old stuff and then the old stuff falls off. Mm -hmm. And that leaves you kind of unprotected for a while. Yeah. So if you make a major growth change, if you grow, then you're vulnerable like the crab or the snake because you haven't figured out the defenses yet for this new state you're in. Yeah. Okay? It works for me. Yeah, works for me too. Um, it's okay to be scared. It's normal to be scared. And, you know, I, I was talking to somebody the other day who was telling me she was about to graduate from medical school. And she was scared and saying, when I think of the responsibility that I'm going to have for the rest of my life, it boggles my mind. And I thought, good for you for taking it that seriously, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And she was going to do it. I mean, she was there. But I liked that she was scared because it's talk, it said how responsible she was. Okay. I think that you really want to take a look at who you are who you want to become, what kind of relationships you want to have, what didn't work in this relationship, what aspects of it you, were you responsible for, mm -hmm. and actually learning the skills and being implement the skills to master those things when you do either start dating again or maybe you're trying again with your ex like this guy did. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to stay stagnant and just keep obsessing about where your ex is and at and what they're doing and who they're with right. and and not get to a point where you're in a good place because even if they come back around again you're not going to be showing them this new awesome version of yourself that is really like wow eye-opening for them mm -hmm. you're kind of stuck in where are they at what are they doing who are they with yeah and, and that means that they have your energy and you don't have your own energy so you need to take it back that's right okay so it's okay, it's normal to feel like, oh my gosh, maybe one day I will not want them anymore and for that to scare you, that's Well, the okay. other thing is, what would you do if they called you? Yeah. You know, if you had been begging and pleading and suddenly they call you and say, I'm back. And, and yeah, and it's, it's interesting because people are thinking, what if, what if that happens? And when they do reach out, I don't even want to talk to them anymore. Right. What if I'm happy with somebody new? Yeah. I get that a lot. What well, would be hard to say, but you'd have to tell them that in, yeah. in as good a way as you could. Yep. Um, but I'm sure it does happen. Um, you're not going to say, excuse me, buddy, but I've way outgrown you. Mm -hmm. um, although if you're angry enough, I suppose you could. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you could. I deserve better than your cooking. It was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody's journey is a little bit different. Yeah. Keep working on yours, keep moving forward, keep focusing on becoming the best version of yourself and you can't go wrong. Whatever's meant to be will happen, right? Yeah. And, you know, whatever the next challenge is, you'll meet it. Have some faith in yourself. What, what, my God, what if I make this change and people will expect more of me? That's okay. You'll make it. And let me tell you, change is always scary. But if it didn't feel good, nobody would do it. Mm-hmm. Yep. So hang in there till you enjoy the fruits. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course, if you want our help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. And Margaret is available for Skype coaching. If you feel that I can be helpful to you, please sign up with me. Just click on Margaret on the top of the website to do that. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon.